Hi, I'm Bonnie Motes, and I'm here with the scripture readings for Sunday, June 18th, the third Sunday after Pentecost. The first reading comes from Exodus chapter 19, verses 2 through 8a. The Israelites arrived in the wilderness of Sinai and, came and set up camp. Moses climbed the mountain, and the Lord called to Moses. And the Lord said, if they obey him and keep his covenant, they would be his own special treasure from among all the peoples of earth. The Lord said they would be his holy nation. Moses returned to the people and told them everything the Lord had commanded and all the people agreed to do everything the Lord commanded. The psalm is Psalm 100. We are God's people and the sheep of God's pasture. Next reading is from Romans chapter 5, verses 1 through 8. My Bible says, faith brings joy. Since we have been made right in God's sight by faith, we have peace with God because of what Jesus Christ has done for us. Because of our faith, Christ has brought us into this place of undeserved privilege where we now stand and we confidently and joyfully look forward to sharing God's glory. And because God dearly loved us, he has given us the Holy Spirit to fill our hearts with his love. The gospel reading comes from Matthew chapter 9, verse 35 through chapter 10, verse 8. Chapter 35 starts in my Bible with a heading, The Need for Workers. Jesus traveled through all the towns and villages in that area, teaching in the synagogues and announcing the good news about the kingdom. And he healed every kind of disease and illness. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them because they were confused and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. He said to his disciples, the harvest is great, but the workers are few. So pray to the Lord who is in charge of the harvest. Ask him to send more workers into his fields. Send more workers. Jesus needed more workers to help him spread the word. We are those workers. We are needed. Jesus has called us to be disciples, just as Pastor Bob keeps talking about. He wants us to learn to equip ourselves to be disciples, equip others to be disciples. And when I read this and saw that it said that God needs me, he needs me to be a worker for him, it was, it was just really great. I felt a sense of responsibility that God needs my help. We need to go out and be disciples of Jesus Christ. What an honor, what an obligation, and what a privilege. In chapter 10, Jesus called his 12 disciples together, and he gave them authority to cast out evil spirits and to heal every kind of illness and, and disease. He gave instructions on what to do, to not go to the Gentiles or the Samaritans, but only to the people of Israel, God's lost sheep to announce to them the kingdom of heaven is near, to heal the sick and raise the dead and cast out demons. He warned them. He was sending them out as sheep among wolves. That's what it is like for us living among the worldly people. He warned them about being handed over to the courts and told them God would give them the right words if they were questioned. Verse 20 says, for it is not you who will be speaking. It will be the spirit of your father speaking through you. So in these last few weeks, we learned through Pentecost how God sent the spirit for us to live with us, to live in us, um, which is what helps us do the right thing. It uh, makes us feel closer to Jesus. Uh, it helps us to be better workers. It helps us to be better sheep. So all of these scriptures today tie together for me as we are the sheep 
Um, God is obviously our shepherd, and we should want to joyfully serve him and be a good worker. See you Sunday.